college at a tender age of 44 we're going back today um doing a photography course it's not you know full-time college you haven't had to uh quit a job and go back full-time but uh it's still a bit a bit scary trying new things learning new things i just wanted to do photography I, i'm self-taught with most things i do and i kind of get frustrated with well, with most things, I guess, like that, you kind of, you learn what you need to learn and then you don't really understand why you're doing it. So I thought, let's do a little course. So I'm starting from the basics, beginning course. Uh, hopefully it just ratifies what I already know. I think I already know the basics, but sometimes you don't know what, well, you never know what you don't know. That's the whole point of learning things. So it's gonna be a new, a new thing for me. It's an eight week course, it's only two hours a week. Um, it's at a local college, just down the road from where I live. So I've had to, obviously, I've had to pay for it. But it should be, should be fun. Hopefully you're going to learn some things. Try to keep it updated with what, what I learn. Do this. It's helped me remember what I've learned. And uh, we'll go from there. So, yeah. Let's give it a whirl. Let's go back to school. So there we go. Week one completed. It was pretty basic. I, I didn't expect much more of it really from this week. It's just a meet and greet. Hello, how are you? Who are you? What do you want to do sort of thing? There's nine of us in total on the course. Varying ages, I was a bit surprised. You know, some some elder people. Um, and some people just of similar age to me. Um, from all walks of life, from what it looks like. Uh, we got it. I've got a college ID and I'm going to be getting a college card so I can get discounts on things, which is really cool. So I can get my discount on uh, Adobe products. So yeah, take that. Um, what do we go through tonight? So as I say, it's fairly basic. We just did things like basic camera operations. How does the camera work? What is a DLSR? Uh, and all that sort of thing. Uh, so it's just things like the, the scrolling wheel, for example, on the camera, what that does, what the light meter is on the camera and where you want that to be, i.e., you know, you're looking to get it on zero as opposed to underexposed or overexposed. And the uh, the mode dial, what does that do? So that, that was the main sort of takeaways from tonight. So I mean, I pretty much, without sounding like a pompous know-it-all, um, I pretty much knew everything that was said tonight. So it is what it is. And, you know, I, I got a little bit overexcited and started telling everybody else, well, this is what this does and this is what this does. So I've got to try and rein myself in if I do know sort of things. One thing or a couple of things I did learn tonight was um, uh, the word where, the, um, what is it? So photography. So photography um, comes from uh, Greek. Um, so photo is Greek for um, uh, light, for example. So photosynthesis for, for plants and things, light in Greek. And uh, uh, graph is draw or drawing. So uh, photography basically means photo drawing in Greek, which is cool. And camera derives from an old word called uh, camera obscura. Camera obscura? Yeah, camera obscura, which basically means um, dark chamber or dark room. So photography is um, light drawing and the camera is a dark room from the good old days when you had a pinhole in a a uh, big box room and light went through. So that was cool, we learnt that sort of thing. Um, but we've got homework. So my homework task for week one. Um, basically, I've got to practice exercise shooting in manual mode, which I pretty much do anyway, apart from I put my camera into um, auto ISO and just worry about the aperture and the, uh, the shutter speed. But we've got to do full manual photos today or for next week. Uh, so we've got to turn your camera's mode to dial mode, to manual. Uh, look for your viewfinder, rotate the large grip in your lens and find your frame and subject. So composing your shot, activate the light meter, check exposure, adjust exposure, that sort of thing, and shoot. And we've got to take multiple, fo multiple photos of the shot. Uh, so it's just little bits like that. So we've got, um, so I've got a college number, so I've got a college log on, so I can upload and use all the, uh, all the Google Drive stuff and things and everything's moved forwards since I was last at college. It's weird because I went to this college when I first left school back in, what, 1996. So a good few years ago when I was last at this college, don't recognise, kind of recognise it a little bit, but 
yeah, it's changed a lot as things do in, in that sort of time. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to take some photos in full manual mode. I need to resist the urge of editing them in in, uh, in Lightroom and just do just straight out photos, straight out of camera. Because I'm using my food, you know, and that does some pretty funky things for the um, the simulations and stuff. So maybe I'll just take, we'll figure that out. I'll do some photos, um, take some photos of whatever. I don't know, we'll find out. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll be back for next week, week two, where we're going to go through Aperture, which should be fine. So I think we're going to start getting into things that I, I know about, but I'm not. 100% sure why I'm doing it all the time. Hopefully, would be good. It's all a learning experience. Anyway, catch you then.